design studio, which is a method you, you can use for smart suite to come up with ideas, okay? Very fast paced studio, very fast paced workshop. Um, and it's encouraging you to shift your perspective from opinion based design to human centered design, which is what Tim was just talking about. So, opinion based design. Can anyone have a stab at what, a guess at what that is? Anybody want to contribute with their take on what opinion based design might be, especially when compared to human centered design? The human centered design is obviously designing something around a, a real world problem of a real person. And opinion based design is when you or your client has an idea and you think, okay, I'm just going to make this idea because I think it's going to work. And you're not really validating it with uh, a real kind of end user. A good example of this came up the other day. I was interviewing an intern just this week. And she was, she spent, she'd done an internship already as a designer and she designed an app for this company because the, her boss told her to. And the idea for the app was that people who live in, in Rockwell, in Manila, um, it was to, to let them order from Rustans, the supermarket, the grocery store. Uh, so in Rockwell, in Manila, there's a Rustans in the basement of the building and there's a condominium on top of the, on top of the mall. Okay? So if you want to go to Rustans, if you live in Rockwell, you just take the elevator down and then you're in Rustans and you go shopping. Some genius had an idea of making an app so that people who live in Rockwell could use the app to order food from Rustans so they wouldn't have to go take an elevator and go downstairs. This is a really good example of opinion based design because it doesn't make any sense. Oops. This app idea doesn't make any sense because it's not solving a real world problem. If you live in Rockwell, you don't need an app to order from Rustans because you're one elevator right away. So, if they'd asked in the beginning what problem are we trying to solve here, they would quickly figure out that there's no real problem they're trying to solve. And they would have gone on to the next idea or changed it, but they didn't. They, they designed the whole thing, delivered to the client, and then they didn't push through with the project because it was a stupid idea. Okay. See the arcane. I'm just kidding, see the arcane is great. Um, <laughs> this is this design studio is crafted around individuals and group activities. Um, it's designed to get you critiquing each other's ideas. Uh, progressing from round to round, so there are three different rounds you're going to go through and you're going to build on each other's ideas as you go through. See the idea. You're going to go through three different stages, design, present and critique in each round. So you're going to design a solution to the problem that I'm going to give you. Then you're going to present your idea to the person sitting next to you. They're going to critique your idea, and you're going to swap. We begin in the first round, we do it individually, then you team up, you do it in pairs, and then you, you, each pair teams up into one group. And then in the final round, you want a single group of four, five, six people. And then at the end of round three, you come up to the front of the room, and you present your idea to the rest of us. Okay, sound cool? So again, round one, two parts. Design and critique, five minutes each, alone, individual. Round two, pairs. Design and critique, five minutes each. Round three, groups. Design, five minutes, and then share with the rest of the group. Everybody clear? Hear a lot of murmuring going on over here. Sound back sack. Uh, well, uh, you weren't ready, were you? You weren't ready. Um, if you weren't paying attention, yeah, please pay attention now because I'm going to give you the design brief here. Okay? This is what you're going to need 
for this workshop. I'm going to start off with the keeper of summer. This is Anne. She's a 20 year old OJT that's been living in QC um, all her life. She's very techy, tech savvy, techy, and is never late for an appointment. Just like me, never late. She always finds ways to minimize her cost of commuting. The only exception, however, is if she's running late. So if she's running late, she's willing to spend a bit more money so that she gets there on time. Because being on time is a main priority. Key scenario. This is the first time that Anne's been traveling to daily to Makati, and after a few weeks of commuting, she finds it really stressful to commute with all the traffic and the long lines. Bit of traffic this morning in uh, Anne Village, not much time. You guys have the same problem, I guess, right? But probably not even half as bad as in Manila, you know? Most of the time she takes the MRT to get to her destination, although sometimes she takes the bus and the taxi as well. Your objective, what you're going to design today in this workshop, is a product that will allow Anne to easily travel from one place to another within Metro Manila. The product can be a website, mobile app, or even a piece of hardware for you ECE students out there. Or a completely new product, anything. Be as creative as you can. There's no limits on this, okay? What you're going to be doing basically is you're reimagining solutions to the traffic problem in Manila, okay? The key principle is that looking for ways to commute should be easy and stress-free and it should also consider Anne's needs like cost and time. So remember Anne loves being on time, she's never late. You've got to make sure that this product that you make keeps her on time and that she's aware of the cost as well. Okay? Everybody clear? Anybody not clear? Before we start, some tips for each round. So round one is just about, again, it's individual. It's just about generating as many ideas as you can, okay? Focus on quantity over quality. The more radical, crazy, extreme your ideas, the better. Just don't prejudge anything, especially in round one, okay? Just get as many ideas down on paper as you can. So round one, individual exercise. The room should be silent for this first part, okay? After this first part, it's gonna get very noisy, but for this first five minutes, individual should be done by yourself, okay? So when you're doing it, you can either draw stuff, you can draw the hardware you imagine, you can draw the app, you can draw the website, or you can just list features, list things that might be useful for Anne, list ideas you have, that kind of thing. But at the end of round three, you're going to be coming up here and you should have something drawn that you can then show to the rest of the room. We're going to give you some materials in round three, a big old sheet of manila paper that you can come to the front and you can show everybody what you've, how you've solved Anne's problem. So before we begin, remember that you're doing human-centered design. Who's your human in this story? Who's your human in this story? Who are you designing for? That's better, okay. I'm going to give you five minutes and then again the room should be silent. Time starts. Three, two, one, go. Go. 